bolognese. You've mispronounced it. You've eaten it at restaurants. You think it's too difficult to make because it's Italian. I should know. I'm Italian. We could be a little bit difficult. Well, guess what? Today I'm going to show you how to make it in less than half an hour. It's going to look fancy. It's going to taste amazing. And you can freeze it too so you can use it in the future. <laughs> so bolognese is a meat sauce. It's a hearty meat ragu. Typically it would be beef and pork, but if you don't eat pork, no problem. You can substitute with bison, turkey, or chicken. Here's what you're gonna need. I have 32 ounces of ground beef and pork in here. 16 of pork, 16 of beef. It's your typical package at the grocery store, your single package. I have one onion, one large white onion, celery heart, three large sized carrots. I already crushed about seven garlic cloves in here, olive oil, some white wine, chicken broth, you can use veal stock, vegetable stock, whatever you want, and two cans of organic tomato paste. Each can is about six ounces, so 12 ounces altogether. This is not a heavy tomato-based sauce. Also, grated Parmigiano-Reggiano cheese. If you don't have this, you have the stuff that you put on your pasta when you're serving your family dinner, that's fine too. I don't eat any of this stuff, but my family does, so they're gonna have an awesome dinner tonight. So I'm chopping half of the white onion right now because I'm gonna use half of this white onion to saute the pork and the beef, which I've mixed together. I literally just threw them in this bowl and I kneaded them with my hand. So I'm gonna do two teaspoons of the crushed garlic, half of the white onion, and this in a pan along with a third cup of olive oil. Sorry, no, 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 shit, I was wrong. We're doing a fourth cup of olive oil, one quarter cup. We are gonna throw in the onions. One, two teaspoons of that crushed garlic. We have this on high because we're making this in a short amount of time. We are going to be sauteing the ground beef and the ground pork for seven minutes and then we're gonna cook it with the rest of the sauce. All right, I am going to put in the meat. You're gonna keep turning the meat. Now, if you want, at this point, you can add a little bit of white wine. I'm gonna add about half a cup to this. Okay, we're gonna add more to the sauce. Now remember, I said seven minutes. Why do I know how to make this? It's because I was born in Italy and I actually spent a good amount of my childhood growing up there and I loved it. And my mom, you know, at one point in her life was a professional cook, would make this sauce. I no longer eat meat, <laughs> but uh, it smells like home, you know what I mean? And it tastes really good. And like I said, it just, it feels like you spent hours on the sauce and everybody you feed it to will love it. The last thing I'm gonna add is salt. How much salt is, of course, entirely up to you. It's per your taste. I'm gonna do one, two, three big pinches of salt. I highly, highly, highly recommend a good coarse salt. Trust me, it will change your life and it will change your cooking. So we're gonna leave this here for now, six to seven minutes. So the next step is we're gonna make the rest of the sauce and we're gonna add the meat to it in about five minutes. We're gonna chop the rest of our onion. I didn't cry at all while chopping that onion. Maybe because um, I'm a vampire or maybe because the onion deserved it. Chop our carrots. Carrot, 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 carrot. Now I'm not gonna use the entire uh, heart of celery, but I'm gonna use one, two, three, four, five stalks, okay? Now we have the rest of our onion chopped. We have our carrots and celery, which honestly, in this entire recipe, this is probably the most work you're gonna do. The rest of it is super simple. So we're gonna put these into another pot and we're gonna start the other part of the sauce, okay? Okay, so we have two cups of white wine in there. I'm gonna put in a cup of chicken broth. And like I said, you could use veal stock, vegetable stock, whatever you want. We're gonna do one cup of fat. We are gonna have this on high because of our time constraints. Add the rest of the vegetables that we chopped. Okay, so we have the white wine, we have the chicken broth, we have the chopped onion, celery, and carrots. And we have it on high. I'm also going to add half a cup of olive oil. We are also going to add the two cans of tomato paste. It's like some of the ingredients don't want to fall to their boiling death. <laughs> okay. 
Now, again, I'm gonna remind you guys, this is not the conventional way of making bolognese. This is the quickest way and it'll still be delicious. All right, now we're ready to add the meat to this sauce. Ooh, this is a heavy pan. Okay. As you can see, I did that very professionally. Okay, it's on high. While it's at this stage, here's what I'm gonna do. Of course, you're gonna add salt. So I'm gonna do one, two, three, and four. I did salt with the beef and the pork, but not in the other part of the sauce. And of course it evaporates, right? I'm also gonna add the cheese. Half a cup of this cheese. If you get a little extra in there, that's okay. My family really likes this cheese. Mix this together. So now that we have all the ingredients, the entire sauce in one pot, we are going to let this boil and cook for 20 minutes. We're gonna leave it alone for 20 whole minutes. What you do in those 20 minutes is your business. Minutes later. 20 minutes later, we have this beautiful looking sauce. It looks thick, it looks hearty, it's meaty. During those 20 minutes, we actually put on a pot of water and we boiled it and we made the spaghetti. The spaghetti takes 11 minutes, at least the brand that I use takes 11 minutes for it to be al dente. So I'm pretty sure the pasta is ready, but if you're not sure, you know the old saying grab a noodle and throw it against a wall. If you don't have a wall, just improvise. It's ready. <laughs> I have to taste this. I don't eat dairy, I don't eat meat, but you know, I can't serve something without knowing what it tastes like, right? Oh, that's so good. Okay, so we're going to plate it. We have our spaghetti in our bowl. Put a nice big spoonful of it on top. One more. I know my family loves the grated cheese. We're gonna add a little bit of that. And there you have it. Oh my God, this smells like Italy. So we obviously made this with beef and pork. You can actually use the same exact ingredients I use, except substitute the meat for Beyond Meat ground beef. It'll taste just as amazing and it'll be vegan. I hope you enjoy making this recipe. It looks fancy, it's gonna taste amazing. People are gonna think you spent hours on it. Your family's gonna love it. And like I said, you can freeze it. I hope you're safe. I hope to see you soon. Manja. Oh. <laughs> 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 Can I at least eat it? Yeah. It's ready. It's ready. <laughs> it's ready. <laughs> it's ready. <laughs> Ready. <laughs> <laughs> That's perfect. I think we got it. I think we got it, right?